I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an Assyrian winged lion. I come way over here on the left at the top. Let's do one finger and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a skinny rectangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I come on the left hand side and I draw a slightly curved line down. Come on the right hand side, I'm going to draw a longer, slightly curved line down. I come back over here to the left and I'm just going to draw curve line, curve line down, connect. I come back over here to the left again, I draw a curve line down, little curve line down, curve line in, up, and curl. I come back over here on the left and I'm going to draw one curve line down and up, another curve line down and up, one more curve line down and up. Now, we're going to do a lot of repeating patterns, but they're all in sequence. So we're going to start off with these baby circles that go all the way up, connect, and then we're going to do a baby circle rectangle. All of the Assyrian artwork is repeating patterns, so there's going to be a lot of lines, a lot of baby circles. Now we come down below this and put a straight line on the left, straight line on the right. Back to the left, slightly curved line, connect. Inside this space, little straight lines. And now we're going to draw another rectangle of baby circles. Repeating patterns. Everybody's going to look different because we all draw differently. Now we come up in this space and we draw a big curve line swoop. Come underneath, curve line swoop, back, connect, inside, straight line. All right. Now come down here and we're just going to draw a curve line up, connect. Little curve line up, connect. Little curve line up, connect. Little curve line up, connect. Again, repeating patterns. Come inside this space. Curve line up, down, connect. Curve line up, down, connect. Curve line up, down, connect. Now, starting right here, we draw a big curve line out. Straight line, curve line in, 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 straight line, connect. And we're going to do it again. Straight line, curve line down, out, in, straight line, connect. Okay. Come back over here to the right. We're going to draw a little curve line down. Straight line, up, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. We're going to draw curve line down, curve line down. Curve line down, come back up, mimic it, curve line, curve line, curve line down, slightly curve line, connect. Right next to it, curve line, curve line, curve line down, curve line, curve line, curve line down, slightly curve line, connect. Right about here, we're just going to draw a curve line up, connect, curve line down, in and leave it floating. We come inside this space and we're going to add another curve line up. I know it looks confusing, just bear with me. Right here, curve line, curve line down, curve line, curve line up, connect. One more, curve line, curve line down, curve line, curve line over, up, up, connect right at this point. Big curve line out, 
up, connect on the end, curve line, curve line up, connect. Starting on the bottom, little curve line, curve line up, connect, little curve line, over, up, connect, little curve line, over, up, connect, little curve line, over, up, connect. Now the rest of this is filling in with patterns. So starting on this first part right here, we just draw a curve line up, down, connect, put a dot, draw a spiral. Come to the next one. Curve line down, spiral. Come over to this one. Curve line up, down, connect, put a dot, spiral. And over here, curve line down, spiral, okay? This space, little curve lines going up. Now, if you don't do this exactly like this, don't even worry about it. This is nothing but curve lines filling in spaces with repeating lines. You can imagine they did all of this in stone carving. Now come over here, we're going to put one, two straight lines, curved lines inside, little curved lines at the bottom, and now we're just going to draw straight lines, straight lines across, keep going, and you're going to fill all of these things in with straight lines. Now if you can imagine these were monumental in size, all carved out of uh, rock or sandstone, just like the Egyptians. These are the Assyrians. Okay, is this all? I think it is. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the good thing about this is because it's carved in stone, I'm taking a multicultural crayon and I'm just coloring the whole entire thing one color. You can do it with a brown, you can do it with a pink. You just want to make sure that it's not totally, totally white. So this tells you the difficult part was the actual drawing. The coloring is not that difficult. It's all one color. You don't want to color so dark you lose your drawing. It took us too long to do it. Don't cover it up. All right. Then in the background, I just used my fat turquoise, blue green, and went all the way down and around. You will do a way better job than I am. Okay? All right. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Assyrian winged lion all colored in. And they must have been absolutely magnificent when you came up upon them. Okay, bye-bye.